Lamp replacement procedures vary by projector. This procedure applies to the following models. When replacing lamps in Christie projectors, use only genuine Christie lamps supplied by Christie. Lamp replacement must only be performed by authorized service personnel. When handling lamps, be sure to wear a face shield that provides full face and neck protection, as well as protective gloves and a long sleeve garment made of heavy material. This gear is available from Christie. The tools required for lamp replacement are the special tools included with the projector. A dust blower is also recommended. The special tools are stored on the inside of the lamp door. A long 5mm hex wrench may come in handy when replacing the lamp. Ready an individual lamp box and protective cover before removing the lamp. First, from the touch panel, turn the power to the lamp off. After turning off the power, the lamp's cooling fan will run for about 10 minutes to cool the lamp. Next, press the power button on the touch panel to turn the power to the projector off. Make sure that the projector is in standby mode and then turn off the projector's distribution panel breaker. Using the provided key, open the lamp door. Loosen the two blower cover fastening screws and open the cover. Loosen the two lamp cover fastening screws and open the cover. Using a long hex wrench, loosen the screw on the positive non-threaded end and remove it. Take the screw out of the projector, being careful not to drop it. Loosen the bulb nut on the negative threaded end. Loosen the hex screw on the negative threaded end using the hex wrench included with the projector. Gripping the positive side of the lamp firmly with your left hand, completely remove the bulb nut on the negative threaded end. After removing the bulb nut, Firmly grip the metal end with your left hand and slowly take it out. When doing so, be careful to avoid bumping the lamp against the reflector. After removing the lamp, place it in the original individual lamp packaging. When removing a lamp that has an extension nut, remove the extension nut from the lamp before placing it in its individual packaging. Put the removed extension nut back into the extension nut fastening position inside the projector. Using the dust blower, remove any dirt or dust from the reflector. Ready a new lamp and remove it from its packaging. Before installing the lamp, remove the bulb nut. When installing lamps that require an extension nut, first remove the extension nut from inside the projector and then attach the extension nut to the negative threaded end. 
Grip the lamp firmly by the metal ends and set it into place. When doing so, be careful to avoid bumping the lamp against the reflector. Set the bulb nut in place and fasten it loosely. When the bulb nut is tightened, the lamp moves into its secured position. Tighten the screw on the negative threaded end. When doing this, make sure that there is no space between the lamp and its mount. Securely tighten the bulb nut. Tighten the screw on the positive side using a long hex wrench. Close the lamp cover and then tighten the two fastening screws. Close the blower cover and then tighten the two blower cover fastening screws. Return the tools to their original positions and close the projector door. Turn on the distribution panel breaker and then power on the projector. In full power mode, select Menu and Login. Enter the username and password and log in. Select Menu. Advanced Setup. Lamp History, and then Add Lamp. Select the lamp type from Type. When doing so, be sure to select the correct lamp type. If you select the wrong type, the lamp input values will be incorrect, resulting in flicker, reduced life, and possible lamp breakage. The lamp type is indicated on the individual lamp package and the included data sheet. Register the lamp serial number. The lamp serial number is indicated on the individual lamp package and the included data sheet. From Reason for Change, select the reason for lamp replacement. Ordinarily, this will be Lamp Life. Set the lamp alert time. We recommend that you set a time that is somewhat shorter than the lamp warranty period. Power on the lamp to illuminate it. Select Menu, Advanced Setup, and then Lamp Adjust. Select Display Full Screen White Test Pattern and project the test pattern. Using a hex driver, adjust the Y, Z, and X handles to maximize the intensity value displayed on the touch panel. The Solaria 1 and Solaria 1 Plus are not equipped with an automatic adjustment function. Adjustments must be made manually. When making the adjustment, Adjust Y, Z, and X in small increments, in that order, repeating this process as necessary. After waiting 10 minutes, manually adjust them again to re-maximize the intensity value. This concludes the procedure.